to ask God is, Lord, why do I despise where I'm at? <clears throat> why do I despise where I'm at? What is it do I think that I'm coming behind in because I'm, I'm where I'm at? What is it that I think I'm losing out on because of where I'm at? Why am I despising where I'm at? Why am I despising growing in this relationship with you? Why do I despise that I'm growing up into this relationship with you? Why have I judged that to be evil? Why have I judged that to be a negative? Because, I mean, the Bible says God, God doesn't despise watching a thing grow. That, in fact, He loves watching something grow wow, where from nothing. That? Right? Oh, and so, it's also it's, it's scary. It can be scary. If, you, if you're looking at it through yourself off. Because then you think, oh, I'm going to mess it up. You know? Like, uh, like for me, and it still comes at me, I'm a bad girl if I don't do this. If I don't listen to the podcast, oh, I'm a bad girl. Or if I don't watch <clears> church, <throat> oh, I'm a bad girl. And that's why I'm feeling like I'm feeling. So it can be a, a scary thing. Like I've disappointed God and, and where it's not my fault. I haven't done anything. It's just an attack. Right, Does so, that make sense? So those, for, but that's different than what Erica's talking about. For Erica, why do you despise where you're at? And you want to hear God come and say, who told you you should despise where you're at? And let him ask him if he despises where you're at. If he thinks you're running behind, mm -hmm. if he thinks you're not up to par, start engage him in that conversation. Why am I despising where I'm at, Lord? Because I would say when you despise where you're at, the voice of a stranger can be louder yeah. in your ear, right? Mm -hmm. If you're busy thinking like that. Shelly, for you, um, I mean, you want to get to the, the real question. The real question is why do you despise yourself? Mm -hmm. Right? God doesn't despise you. You don't really have any evidence that God despises you. And so what you're doing is you're attributing your own thoughts onto God. Right? Mm -hmm. And so the more you attribute your thoughts onto God, the longer you're not really dealing with your thoughts. Right? Yeah. And so the quicker, I don't want to say the quicker, what I want to say is let your conversation with God be, why am I despising myself? Mm -hmm. Right? What is it that I don't like about myself? And it may be you've been hiding from it because you think there really is something there that's not likable. And if anybody saw it, then they certainly wouldn't like you. And God uh, is greater than your heart and he can see into you. And if, if, if he can see into you and, and there is something there that's not likable, certainly God wouldn't like you either. Yeah. And so what I would say is, is to ask God, what it is you despise about yourself so that it can come out and you can begin having a conversation about the things you think are wrong with you, mm. right? Because in the day you don't feel like there's something wrong with you or you're not as you ought to be, you're, you're no longer going to have thoughts of God being dissatisfied with you. Right. Do, right. do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like for me, I don't get it right all the time. Like I mess stuff up. I get it wrong. Sometimes I say stuff, sometimes I pray for people, and afterwards I'm like, my goodness, what is wrong with me? You know? Um, Sunday, man, I was real happy with the message for like the first 30, 40 minutes, but then I realized I had like a whole other hour left to preach. <laughs> and I'm like, oh my God. So I just start running through it, and afterwards I thought, well, the last 30 minutes, nobody has any clue what I just said. Right? I felt dissatisfied. Yeah. But... I didn't feel like it was a, a mark against me in my life, right? So I could acknowledge that some, I can acknowledge I don't like something, or I can acknowledge that maybe something isn't the fruit of life, but I don't feel ashamed about it anymore, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And so Shelly, I would just start talking with God about that so that it can come out. Not so you can analyze yourself or do some psychotherapy kind of nonsense, but just so it can come out and get on the table where you can start having a conversation about what it is you see in yourself that you think is wrong, and you need to hear in that place, you need to hear God come in right. and talk with you in that place, right. not in these roundabout places, because you can hear all the time, God's not upset with you, God's not upset with you, God's not upset with you, but if you don't see it in light of what you think is there to be upset about, how can it help you, right? And if, mm -hmm. if there's a verse in John where it says, if a heart condemns us, God is greater than our hearts. 
and we think that God must also condemn us, mm. right? Mm. And so what is it that's so negligent about you, Shelley? What is it that's so God-awful that God has a problem with you? Right. You want that to come out because that's, that's where you need to start hearing. That's where you need the gospel to start being pointed at, right? And that will help you tremendously. And so you want to engage with God from that foundation, mm. right? Yep. Does that make sense?